the fiscal hawks have gone a little bit quiet. We haven't heard from Corker in the way we heard from him several weeks ago. Do they make the difference this week and do they reassert themselves? Well, I think what ends up happening uh, this week or early next, depending on how long it takes to, to line everybody up, is that the Senate passes a piece of legislation, fundamentally. Uh, you, everybody needs to remember that Senator Corker was the architect of the deal that allowed $1.5 trillion over 10 years uh, in deficit space uh, that allows aggressive tax reform to go forward. Uh, I think that yeah, while he's been quiet in this debate overall, uh, that was his major contribution. And, you know, clearly, I think uh, both he and Senator Flake and others uh, are going to be much more interested in trying to work within the Senate and help out their colleagues uh, instead of worrying about uh, what feud they might be having with President Trump. Uh, this thing, I think, is on, the, uh, is on the way to approval in the Senate, and we've retained our 75 percent view that it, is, uh, that it ultimately becomes law. Terry, as they return to work, as Congress returns to work, what's the message you think they received from their constituents last week, and does it change anything at all? Uh, let me start with a second, Jonathan. I, I don't think it changes anything. I think, uh, I, I think the constituents, uh, some of them anyway, uh, will express skepticism. Uh, that certainly is what the polls reflect. And uh, the answer to that is best, uh, best given by Paul Ryan, who says, you know, I, th I, think the, uh, I think the results will speak for themselves. And what they think and what they hope in Congress is that increased prosperity, a jump-started economy, uh, will provide its own answer to that and ultimately, uh, ultimately uh, help them both in a policy sense and a political sense. Uh, Terry, assuming there is actual approval in the Senate of a version of this bill, are we at that point just off and running? I mean, what is the chance that in conference there might be serious disagreements between the House of Representatives and the Senate? Uh, I think, David, the chance of that is, uh, is very slim, frankly. Uh, the, the, for all the, uh, the, the concern about differences between the House and the Senate bills, what needs to be remembered is that the fundamentals are the same. Uh, the, the corporate tax rate is the same. Uh, you know, many other uh, many other aspects are the same. That are the fundamentals of the Big Six agreement that was announced in late September. And what you're going to end up with is something that looks very much like that. Will there be disagreements over some pay for? Sure, absolutely. Uh, those those get resolved. 